Hi my loves, today I have a different sort of video for you all. I asked on Twitter if anyone wanted to see a birthday haul because I turned 22 in the month of May. I asked if anyone wanted to see a haul and everyone said yes. I had no responses that were like, no, don't film it. Um, so I wanted to quickly say that if you are at all offended by these sorts of videos where people are showing things that they received as gifts from friends, from families, in some cases I have some gifts from brands I'm going to be showing you, please just understand that like I totally get you. you should feel bad about that but this is not a haul where I purchase these things with my own money I am so lucky and I I've always known that I am so fortunate and so blessed and so lucky to have the life that I do and to have the friends and the family that I do who are so generous and giving with their time and with everything that they have in life and I try to be that kind of person too I try to be the person who spoils everyone else on their birthday and I think that people just kind of gave it back to me because I was spoiled rotten this year I completely know that I have way too much to show here um, pretty much any other time of the year I don't like to take things from anyone I'm not the kind of person who likes to receive gifts a lot of the times I just kind of get really shy and I feel so awkward and I don't know what to do with myself because I, I feel so bad that someone else would spend like their hard-earned money or anything on me so a lot of the times when people ask what I want for my birthday I'll just say something like take me to dinner like make me a card do something nice but don't you know I don't need anything material so yes I have a lot here to show you but I don't ever get things like this any other time of the year I don't accept presents like this any other time of the year pretty much um so without any further ado we're going to get into the haul I really hope there's like no lipstick on my teeth because I filmed this entire intro earlier and there was like pink lipstick everywhere. First off, my mom sent me the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bouquet of flowers, and I thought it was so, so, so freaking sweet. I will actually insert a picture here in a minute, but she is the sweetest person in the entire world, and she knows I love fresh flowers, so thank you, mom. I thought they were beautiful, and they lasted for a really long time, and now I have a super pretty vase for my new flowers. So Tyler, my husband, actually knows that this is my favorite book of all time. Alice in Wonderland, is god I, I hate saying favorite book of all time because like harry potter like really but it is one of my very favorites in the entire world and so i got this and i was like oh my god the thank you it was a beautiful version of alice in wonderland right and then i opened it up and it has a few pages in here um let me show you guys i was not expecting this at all it just has it like one page and then it is a hollowed out version of the book and I love these sorts of things I think they're so cool to keep things in it feels very like CIA agent like very sneaky sneaky I can put like all my secret things in here you know what I mean like I don't have any secret things but if I did I could put them in here so inside were all of my birthday presents from Tyler and it was the cutest thing in the entire world I thought this was the sweetest most oh, I love him so much he's just the most thoughtful human being and he thinks of everything so I thought this was just way too freaking cute so, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. These are both very sentimental gifts because he knows I pretty much don't need anything in life. Um, the first one I want to show you guys is this really pretty bracelet. It is this really tiny little silver bangle and he knows I love bangles I can stack with, but also that my wrists are like super small and it's hard for me to find things that fit. It will clasp just like this so I can just push it and it comes off. But it feels really secure when it's like in place. Around the bangle it says love is not finding someone you can live with. It's finding someone you cannot live without. So super cheesy but super freaking cute. This is just like he knows that I love this, sorts of thi this sort of thing. I just like I cried when I got it. I thought it was so beautiful and it's so dainty and small and I love this. So this is my first present and I'm obsessed with it. The second thing that he got me is my favorite thing, I'm not going to lie, from this entire video. And we have I Love You. Uh, does everyone else do this too? We have I Love You More fights all of the freaking time. We got me this really beautiful dainty little necklace and I'm obsessed with it. It has just a little rose gold like set of hearts if you will down the front and I like mixed metals I really like um rose gold with silver especially and he knows I've been looking for like a rose gold slash silver necklace that I can wear with my Michael Kors watch that is silver and rose gold so he got me this one and it just has little hearts down the front of the silver pendant oops I'm dropping it and then on the very back it just says I love you more do you guys see that I don't know if you're gonna be able to even read it but I love this. It is super sentimental and so freaking sweet. Um, he also took me out to dinner and he bought me a few other things you're going to see later in this haul. But he is just the sweetest in the entire world. Like, I married the greatest person in the entire world. He's my best friend and he knows me better than anyone. So I'm super thankful. So thank you, Tyler. And yeah, that was what he got me. 
Then my dad, um, I'm actually coming home to go see my dad. I'm actually flying out in like a few hours to go and do that. I'm not even packed. I've got to finish up this video and go do that. So my dad doesn't really know my style very well. And he like, <laughs> he really knows that. He's very smart about like not trying to get me anything for the most part. But he also knows that if he gave me like straight cash, I would use it to pay bills because that's pretty much the kind of person that I am. I don't like to waste things very often. Um, so what he actually did was he gave me a Kate Spade gift card because he knows that Kate Spade is my favorite brand of all time. I do have several Kate Spade purses. So I actually picked up this during her secret sale and she will have little like um, sales where it's only promoted on certain social media websites like you can't find it through the main Kate Spade homepage but everything is at least like half off so I got this bag for next to nothing honestly for Kate Spade anyways um, it was actually originally $358 it is a really beautiful pink bag and I thought this was so pretty it is like this really pretty pastel pink and it has um, small little raised circles all over it and it's just enough detail I think to set it apart and to also make it like easier to wear and tear I know that sounds weird but like I think that straight bags that are just like straight leather or straight faux leather or whatever you can see wear and tear really easily whereas this is going to hide it a tiny tiny bit on the very front it just says um, Kate Spade New York then it has gold detailing and a like pastel pink little handle and I just Oh, I'm so obsessed with it. It's like the perfect size. The inside, you can see, I really, I just opened this. Um, you can see it just has a little dust bag. And then it has plenty, plenty, plenty of room. There is like still paper at the very bottom here, but it goes pretty deep. It is a gorgeous bag, and I loved this. I got a great deal on it. And so I actually wound up, because I got such a good deal on the bag, buying a wallet. And it doesn't really match, but I thought it would be like a cute combination, especially for spring. I really like my wallet to match my purse. And I really Really needed a new wallet so again this is from Kate Spade it's like this really pretty turquoise blue and it is just really really sturdy I like that it's just a zip open wallet like so and it is an accordion wallet is that what you call these where you have like a section for all of your cards and like a little pocket for cash um, you have another little section I guess you could put like a checkbook there and here you have like a little zippered compartment where you can put like change and whatever else you need and then there's one other big section on this side with more sections for cards so I thought this was like the perfect size. It's a pretty large wallet. It's like as big or it's as wide as this purse. So I don't know. I really don't use wallets very often anymore just because I feel like so many bags come with little slots for cards. But I really did want a new one. My old ones were really like starting to fall apart. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and splurge and get myself a new one. So that is for my dad. So thank you so much to my dad. That was so ridiculously kind. He's the most generous person in the entire world. He's like my best friend. He also gave me an Audible credit um, because I got him hooked on Audible like a month or two ago and he is in love with it because he always used to just buy his audiobooks on iTunes and I was like no it is way cheaper to do it this way and just get yourself one every single month. He asked me what audiobook I wanted and I said Gone Girl and so he sent it to me as a gift and I'm so excited to start reading it. I am flying in a few hours like I said. I will probably be listening to it on the plane but also for you guys as a little gift to you I have a link you all can use to get a free audiobook from Audible and it is just audibletrial.com slash Lowy and you can use that to get a free book and yeah I I thought that would be a nice little added thing for everyone else so if you're watching this haul and you want to treat yourself then here's a little goodie on me um but yeah that is for my dad so thank you so much to my dad that was so sweet and he's he's just the sweetest person so totally random but I went to Ulta with Tyler and I actually was like going to buy these myself and then he said they were my birthday presents so I thought I would show them in this haul this is the it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus color correcting full coverage cream with SPF 50 I loved this and he, <laughs> Tyler was so funny I was between two colors and he was like oh no you're medium like he he held up the bottle to my neck and everything you guys and he was like mm, you're medium you need to go with medium that's what's gonna work for you and I was like oh okay it was so cute so he actually got this for me because I wanted it really badly and I'm wearing it today it's really just a nice CC cream um, that honestly can be a little bit more full coverage more like a foundation but it's super hydrating so I absolutely freaking love this um, and I'm really grateful for it and then also on the way out I saw these NYX to go or go to palettes rather and they are the La Palette Indispensables 
This one is in the shade Wanderlust or in the color collection Wanderlust. The La Palettes, didn't like L'Oreal just do that? Does that have like some other connotation I don't know about? It has six eyeshadows, then a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. And I thought this would be so pretty. And Tyler was like, yeah, it'll be good for travel. So obviously you need it. So he also picked this up for me. I think it's going to be really nice. It was a little bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be, um, especially for NYX. But I cannot wait to try this. Maybe I'll do like a full look with this and like review it in one video. So yeah, I thought this color um, selection would be really just right at my alley. So thanks, Beeb. Okay, I did get a few presents from brands on my birthday. And these were not like sent to me. Don't think like, oh my god, Butter London sent Loie Lane a birthday present. It just so happened they came in on my birthday and I thought that I would show them in this video. So Butter London sent me a little goodie package. I also have some stuff from Soap and Glory and another brand. So we'll start off with Butter London. The first thing that they sent is the Wink Eye Pencil. And I got this in the shade Union Jack Black. It's just a black eyeliner pencil. So we'll see how pigmented it is. It's just black ooh super duper creamy and super black so yeah that's it right there that's a brown eyeliner I have swatched underneath it that I need to take a makeup wipe too but I thought that was really nice I always love having another black eyeliner and pause is butter London packaging not the cutest thing it like has the prettiest inside ever I also got the iconic iconic last or icono Iconoclast? Yeah. I am struggle bussing. This is the Mega Volume Lacquer Mascara. Ooh, that's a fancy name and it just has like silver packaging like so. And my friend Alex has tried this and said she really liked it because we were talking about it when I was in LA with her. But I will take out the brush for you guys. It's kind of weird looking. It has a little um, ball in the end, kind of like the, um, how do you say that brand? Is it Givenchy? <laughs> I hope I'm right. I've been corrected so many times. But I cannot wait to try this. I always love having another mascara and this one looks super unique. I got a Lippy Bloody Brilliant Lip Crayon and they gave this to me in the shade Lady Bird. And this is actually matching to the nail polish I have on my nails which is also from them so it just came with a matching lippy and nail polish which I think is so cool I should have worn them together today but I was feeling the pink so this is just a really pretty like reddish orange color and it looks totally matte Ooh, look at that so they're supposed to match it's a tiny bit more orange but I think if I layered it over a red lip liner it would pull really 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 orangey red so this is amazing. So thank you so much to Butter London. I know that wasn't like directly for my birthday, but it was super nice um, and I really appreciate it. I also got the sweetest goodie package from Soap and Glory. And this is the cutest thing. You guys may have seen this on other people's um, Instagrams and stuff, but they sent me a bottle or they sent me a lot of things, but this is a little tub of the Righteous Body Butter. Look, it's my little name. And it says, lost that rubbing feeling. The Righteous Butter with softening shea butter and aloe vera, a body moisturizing formula so virtuous. You might swear you're wearing velvet. Ooh. I have put this on my hands. Mm, it smells like Miss Dior, like the perfume Miss Dior Cherie. I think that's the one. It smells so good, and so this was so freaking nice. I cannot wait to try this. I've never tried their body butter, but it did feel really good on the hands. I didn't think it was overbearing. It's not made to be a hand cream. I do have their hand cream, but I thought it was really nice for that. It is the very dry skin formula as well. So I also got the Flake Away, and this has shea butter, sugar, and peach seed powder, and this is a body polish. So it's just a scrub, and Lord knows I love exfoliating. <gasps> I love exfoliating scrubs. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like peach. I love that. So that is a really huge size too. I can't see myself going through that anytime soon. What is my hair doing? I have lipstick on my teeth. My hair is like grouping together. My shirt will not show off my pretty necklace. I'm, I'm done. I also got the Sit Tight Super Intense 4D, and I don't know what is 4D about this, Firming Plus Smoothing Body Serum. And I really want to try this. I almost bought this by myself the other day, and so I was so excited to see when they sent it to me because I I don't know. Sometimes I want a little bit of added tightness, especially in, like, the very upper part of my thigh area when I'm wearing, like, bikinis and stuff. It looks so, like, professional and weird. It has little roller balls on the end. I almost want to put it, like, on my arm, but I have heard this really stings. So I will have to try this another time when, like, I'm willing to endure that sting and breathe through the pain. So I am really excited. It does say it has Presso Cap... Caps... Capsular? What? Firm Plus Puff Drain. 
those are not real ingredients. I do hear that this really does work at like seriously tightening the crap out of your skin and making like any cellulite look so much less noticeable. So I'll probably wind up restocking on this because I'm sure it's amazing. Two more goodies from Soap and Glory. The first I have tried, this is the Pillow Plump Lip plumping lip gloss and this is in the shade koi toy this stuff stings like a mother but your lips really do look so much plumper after you use it it is not one of those lip plumpers where it's like oh that's a mild stinging like no you're going to feel it and even on the packaging it's like girl you're gonna know when it's working it does add a tiny bit of coverage but i really like how it makes my lips look plumper and fuller but more naturally than like doing all this with lip liner you know what i mean i think this is going to be really nice for like my day-to-day -day life just slapping it on and having like fuller lips i really love this so 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 much um and i kind of i don't know if it comes in, in any more colors but i would be really interested in trying more so koi toy is just a really pretty like nudie peachy pink the final soap and glory gift is the sexy mother pucker gloss stick and i have this in the color nudist very cute and it is a nudie like peachy pinky color um, and this one is a lot more sheer, whereas the Lippy from Butter London you're going to see is a true lipstick. This is more of like a gloss. I love products like this that I can throw on and get out the door and just have a little bit of color on my face. So this is probably going to go in my handbag and live there. I love this color as well. Super right up my alley. Um, so yeah, that was all of the goodness from Soap and Glory. Thank you to them again. And the last two things I have to show you are actually from my friends over at Gerard Cosmetics and they sent me their two new star powders. So I have these in the shade Lucy, which is kind of like a copper color. It's a really beautiful coppery gold. And I thought it kind of reminded me of the new limited edition Becca um, what is it even called? I don't remember what it is called, but they have one that's very similar to this, and I know I'm going to use this as a blush. Like, look at that. It is so beautiful. And then I also got Marilyn, which I am wearing today and which I'm obsessed with. I will have talked about this in my May favorites. It is so beautiful. It is like this really pretty, true, shimmery gold color, and it is not for the faint of heart. You are going to have a highlight when you use this, but it is really pretty, um, especially for days when I want that strong highlight. And that is my birthday haul, so I hope you all enjoyed it. And again, I don't do videos like this very often, but so many of you said that you totally wanted to see it that I thought I would deliver. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I hope you all are having an amazing, awesome day. Thank you, by the way, to everyone who wished me a happy birthday this past month. It was surreal how many people were like telling me happy birthday from the minute that it was my birthday day. I cannot believe how generous you guys are with your comments, with your time, with your words. So thank you so, so, so much. And I hope you all have an amazing day. And until next time, I love you. Bye.